Glenn Olsen, my goodness me. Uh, Rally Sweden is done and dusted. But what an enormous effort you and your team have put on this weekend to make sure we've had, at the end of the day, a fantastically entertaining rally. Well done. Thank you a lot. And it's, um, well, we have a really strong organization and uh, they have been working a lot to make it happen. And uh, we are all very thankful that they've been so success success successful with that. Do you know, you, we know any rally in the World Championship anywhere around the world is a massive effort in terms of putting it on. But you guys have to deal with this extra consideration, you know, the snow, and that relies entirely on luck. I really don't know how you plan for it. And as we can see behind, there's lots of changes to the itinerary. It's such a difficult challenge for you. Yeah, and, and of course, we don't really like the situation either, that we are so uh, fragile around the weather situation that we have. And, uh, Okay, we have to think a lot in for the future. What what do we have to do, and how can we more bring s s uh, a more stability around the, on, around the itinerary? So it's um, it's difficult, and and uh, but we need to look at how can we make a more stable itinerary. Uh, uh, President Todd has said this can't happen again. We can't have a rally Sweden that looks like rally GB. What is your initial thinking about how you might overcome this problem? It's a complex problem because, you know, it's not only about finding a place where you have winter, you know, it's a big circus. We are only people who's working in the circus with all the teams and media, everything is 1000 people. And then you have all the spectators on top. And uh, it's also around our business model. You know, we, we are funding this event with spectator income and we're also funding it with uh, with with uh, sponsors and, and VIPs. And, and we need we need to find a place where we can still attract the money to, to also develop it from that. With all of those factors that you've just mentioned there, is there a doubt over the future of Rally Sweden? No, I don't think it's a doubt, but, it could, but, but it's going to be tricky, you know. Uh, you never know about the weather. It could Next year it could be two meters again in this region or one meter, but it's, you know, uh, we don't want to be in the situation where we don't know each, each, us either. We, 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 we need to have a stability and we to fund this event, we also need to know that the spectators want to come to the event. So it's, uh, but it's not an easy way to find a setup where we can achieve all this and it's not quickly done. You know, it's a really, it's a struggle to do this every year in the same area. And uh, so let's see what we, we can do. It's, it's a lot of options as well. We can, if we can drop this, the, the um, structure with the three services in a day, we can maybe use a flexi service again, then it opens up a lot as well. So let's see what can happen. And um, we have a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do, Glenn. And you have already done a lot of work, obviously, to make this event happen. I have to say again, you know, you guys, I'm sure, have had many sleepless nights. You've put in many long, long days in the lead up to and during this event. Enjoy a little bit of downtime before you start planning for next year and keep us up to date with all of your plans for 2021, please. Thank you very much. Thank you.